It was LSU head coach Ed Orgeron who had to relay the unthinkable news to his offensive coordinator and longtime friend, Steve Ensminger. I was the one that had to tell coach, and here's what I told him. I told him what happened, and here's what he said. Coach, we're going to get through this. Obviously, he was distraught, but he called a great game today, so just go show you the integrity and the grit and character of the men on our football team. It's so so tough that, you know, especially for Coach E to come out and coach a game like he did tonight. Yeah. I mean, offense hung 63 points. They could have put up 75 if they wanted to. So, um, man, all, all the credit goes to him. He went out there and called a hell of a game, and we played a hell of a game, and, you know, just says a lot about him. The LSU staff chose not to formally address the team about the tragedy prior to the game. Multiple players played the entire game with no knowledge of the incident. I found out about it in the post-game interview. I didn't, nobody said anything to me about it until that, until then. I found out in the interview and um, just the fact that he still stuck with the game and still called a great game. So that just means a lot for the players and I mean, I feel bad for him. I'm sorry for him, for his loss, but I mean, we're all with him. At 12.30 p.m. Saturday, Orgeron turned to his assistant, Derek Konamski, and noted how nice it was that they'd had no incidents during the week, not so much as a missed curfew. And then the text arrived informing them of the plane crash. Immediately, Orgeron found Ensminger. It was tough, Coach O said, very tough. Regarding the decision as to whether or not Ensminger would coach on Saturday, Orgeron said he never hesitated.